The Mountain Road uh, is a reel uh, written by uh, Michael Gorman. Michael Gorman was a great fiddler from County Sligo, from near Tubbercurry, I think. And um, he wrote the tune initially uh, with six parts, but uh, most people play it as a two-part tune. Uh, I like the third part as well, so I... I sometimes add the third part, uh, but in most sessions you'll find it played as a two-part tune, and usually it's a single, A, B, A, B, but once in a while you'll hear people playing it, two A's, two B's. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll go through the tune uh, with the, the three parts that I usually play. But be aware that when you're playing it in sessions, uh, you should probably presume the other players are going to play it as a two-part tune uh, and be ready to switch back into the first part and ignore the third part. If you've got players who know the third part, then I'm sure they'll enjoy playing it with you. But uh, be better to presume it's going to be performed as a two-part tune. So the opening few notes of the Mountain Road starts on an F sharp, up to the A string, back to the F sharp, then up to a B, and back to the F sharp, and then A F sharp again. And I tend to leave my finger on the F sharp and play that note all the time during that phrase and bring in the other notes on the second string as second notes. So often I'm playing two notes at a time. So for the purpose of the, this demonstration, it, it'll be easier if I single the, uh, if I separate the notes out. It'll be easier to hear them. Um, but be aware that when I play this tune, I'm usually just uh, hovering between the two strings, staying on the third string and bringing in the second as necessary. So the opening phrase again. So. Uh, if you uh, if you arrive in Ireland and you want to join in with a session, uh, the Mountain Road is a tune that probably most people will know. I've mentioned uh, before about the string crossing, keeping the, the drone note, the lower note, constant. In this case, it's the F sharp. So when I go over to those notes on the A string, I'm also playing the F sharp. And I usually put in a bold triplet here. So I slur the F sharp and the A before the triplet. I slur them in an octave. 